Ciao, Juventini. Welcome back to the All Juve Cast channel, where, of course, it's all Juve all the time. I'm Alberto. I've got the latest news surrounding Juventus 2 this morning. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about a couple names Juve has been watching at Qatar World Cup. We're going to talk about the latest on McKinney's future and Illing Jr. Then we're going to get to the latest uh, reports surfacing about the investigation currently ongoing with Juventus. And last, a blueprint, a new blueprint for new management to follow in how Juventus wants to correct things and move forward. All right, we're going to take a look at all that today. So let's get into it. All right, Juventini, friendly reminder, like the video and subscribe to the channel. All right, now before we kick things off with the news, I just want to say something and we put a post out on Twitter for everyone that follows these daily update news videos, for everyone that follows our Twitter channel and gets all their news surrounding Juventus from there. Get a lot of questions about sources, credibility and all this. Look, we feel a certain way at all UVcast and this is how we feel. Number one, you're all smart enough to know who's credible, who isn't. When I don't give you who the source is in these daily update videos, that means that there is multiple, okay? If I need to flat out come out and lay it out on the line that, hey, this particular journalist or this particular uh, news outlet is saying this, and I'll flat out say it's ridiculous or there is an opportunity, I'll lay it out that way. But if I'm not stating anything, it means that there are multiple sources saying it, all right? The other thing is, we lay all the news out there and the reason is because over the past couple of years, if you've been following Juventus, you will have seen that there are some weak sources, sources that nobody gave any respect to that have actually made some big, big calls, okay? Um, and there have been a lot of moments, especially during the past half a year where some of the big dogs were sleeping and didn't see these big ones come through. So out of respect to everyone involved, we just lay all the news out there for you to make what you with. But what you should do, and we always say this, I say it on daily update videos, and the guys are saying it on Twitter, look, apply the grain of salt rule, okay, to everything you hear and everything you get. And if you ever have any questions or want more clarification, we are very easy to be contacted okay so just reach out we've been more than happy we're always willing to chat uv all right now without out, out of the way let's get into the news so latest couple names being put out there that uv was monitoring at the world cup at qatar yesterday we talked about tejan buchanan okay today it's Wea and musa and musa was also reported during the group stages that uv was keeping tabs on him so there's a couple names uv keeping tabs on all right as far as mckinney goes mckinney is still the prime candidate for a sale in january right now the only team that would seem likely is dortmund but again there is nothing concrete there okay so we have to wait and see in terms of illing jr we saw that he signed his extension with juventus and that was great the latest is he is going to be back and available to allegri in 10 days so there's the latest on illing jr now without further ado let's get more into the investigations okay so the latest coming out today is that there's a leaked email that basically shows Juve never finalized things with CR7 and that they are 19.5 million euros in debt to the player apparently it during his uh kind of hasty uh, leave from Juventus they never finalized that salary maneuver and there's 19.5 million euros that's not on the table when it comes into this Juventus uh, investigation and everything, where they risk the most, okay, is in these salary deferrals and maybe things not showing up on the books when players got paid or they either didn't get paid. That's where they risk the most. But again, even in this, and this is why I've been adamant about not being concerned with certain punishments in the league from all the information we've heard. And if salary deferrals are the main part where they have uh, faltered, look, that's financial fraud. It's a big, big problem for a publicly traded company. However, you cannot link that to the sporting side of things. And Gravina himself still also stated that the salary deferrals and issues there do not change the registration of the league for Juventus. So again, 
We just have to wait and see. The latest today is that there's also been a Raiola file found at Juventus and that they actually owe him 13.5 million euros as well. So this is starting to become a little bit interesting. If you put those two totals together, that comes out to the 30, it comes out to about 31, 32 million. All right. And it, again, they're not exact, but 19.5 roughly to uh, Ronaldo, 13.5 roughly to um, uh, Raiola. That's about 33 million euros. That's right around where they said we were missing things on the books originally when this investigation kind of broke out. They said it's around 32, 33 million euros. So there you have it. If these are the scenarios, that's not too bad, but I find it hard to believe. Maybe, just maybe, it is a little bit more if there's other players that in question, like Paulo Dybala, and not seeing the remainder of his. There could be other players involved as well. We have to wait and see. But if it's between these two instances, then things could be a little bit cleaner to deal with, all right? But the other thing is too, again, we have to wait and see because like I reported yesterday in terms of Yatarin being one of the players and of course third party ownership being a rule since 2015, there is still a loophole around that which is a floating charge which teams across Europe do to get you away from the third party ownership rule which is simply not allowed. It can't, the player's uh, rights cannot remain to an agency or an agent. They have to be taken on by the club. So... Here we go. There's a lot more to this and we still lack a lot of details and which is another reason you take all the news with a grain of salt. We have to wait and see. A Raiola file, 13.5 million euros. Ronaldo left pretty hastily. Maybe he didn't get the last 19.5. I don't know what the uh, contractual binding uh, facts are there if a player leaves as hastily as he did. I mean, papers would have been signed for a leave and everything. So there's going to be a lot here and there are going to be battles and Juve will no doubt fight this thing. But that's the latest. All right. Now we get to uh, basically uh, the new blueprint for business okay the new blueprint for business is simple when it comes to new management and how UV is going to look to operate whether marota comes or not it's going to be something very very similar to what was happening before and that is going to be betting on some unknown young talents okay it's going to be no big splashes okay where we kind of started to lose ourselves outside of Iguain who actually did very, very well for us. But that was a big splash. And then after that, towards the end of uh, Iguain's tenure with Juve, we really started splashing and losing track completely of what we were doing. So, betting on unknown talents, no big splashes. And the last one is two to three young players integrated into the first team at all times, maybe even starting 11. So, that's all the news that's basically broken out today around Juventus. And again... Just to further prove my point about news sources and outlets, whatnot, there was another piece of news coming from Gazeta, and it was that Juve is going to try to work with Barcelona in a deal, maybe using Dicilio or Rabio to bring in Ansu Fati or Tembele. When things seem too good to be true, what did I say? They usually are, okay? And Gazeta on this one, I don't see it at all whatsoever and neither do you and this is why we still lay it out sometimes for you because we know you're smart enough to know what's up all right so there you have it that's your news to today can't wait to hear from all of you in the comment section of this video okay drop all your comments questions thoughts opinions if you want to reach out personally through twitter and dms is the easiest or go to instagram dms whatever um, for those of you that have my whatsapp number Hey, hit me up there too if you need, all right? But I'll be with you every step of the way. We're at Thursday here. For those that uh, need to know, I will be doing a friendly live show tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time with my friend Reno from 
Soccer Forever, Per Sempre Calcio on his Facebook page, okay? And it's a nice, raw, unedited, just uh, casual discussion about Juventus World Cup, and we just have fun and a good time together. So if you're uh, able to at that time, we'd love to see you in the live chat joining us there, all right? Outside of that, I'll keep you in touch again tomorrow with a daily update video, and then Saturday we will have a live, all right? And I'm hoping Reno will actually join me here and looking to bring in someone else as well, all right? So, till next time, fino alla fine, forza Juve, ciao tutti.